Welcome. So today we're moving the grow out. We got Andre over here. He's the new owner and we're unloading all the bags. We're setting aside the ones that are going to be fruited at the next location. These just went in last week, so they're still on first flush, some of them. And uh, breaking down the shelving and breaking down the exhaust, the, the skin is getting uh, removed and we're going to rewrap it fresh for the new location. Put new clear plastic on top for the light to come through. We're going to try to save the zip ties by just scooting them off and then reusing them later. We'll see how that works out. So we just have all the zip ties still on here. We'll see if that works. And uh, everything got to get scrubbed up. So we got to scrub all the pipes, scrub all the exhaust, re reinstall the exhaust in a, a new configuration, clean out the inside of the IF4 fan, wherever the heck, somewhere down there, and get the sterilizer hooked up. We actually found out there's a little bit of a leak in the uh, on the element. So, so there's a little bit of a leak down here, you can see and it's a little corroded so i'm throwing a new element in there and we're going to rtv that in and re redo that up so hook him up right and beyond that we got about a hundred just shy of a hundred blocks that are going to be transferred that were already transferred that are going to be fruited and the lab the table flow hoods are going to so i'm still keeping a lot of my extra stuff still keeping all my lab supplies but he's getting the bare essentials to get himself up and uh, up and running. We even did a batch of bags yesterday. That way he doesn't immediately have to do uh, a batch. As soon as he gets into it, he can, he can you know, have about a week to get set up and then he can start making batches. All right, we're ready to roll out. We got all the blocks in here. We got more blocks in there. We got some incubating blocks in here. More blocks in my wife's car. Lab table, flow hood in there. We got the fruiting room cage, some metro shelves. Andre over there got the sterilizer hanging off the end, and we are rolling out. Okay, so the grow is now uh, lightened up a little bit. I took I took out some of the beams that I used to have for doing logs, and it'll make cleaning a little bit easier, less less pieces to collect dirt and dust. And right now we're putting up the panda film, so we unraveled it all the way around. Um, going all the way to the doorway, uh, we're gonna wrap it and then seal it off at the doorway and along the top. The bottom is just gonna be draped, that way you can pick it up and hose out underneath. And then the door and door, well the door frame and the door need to be rewrapped. So as you can see, it's just some two by four, two by ten, another two by four. That's gonna get screwed up to the front of the frame, and then the door is just the one by one by twos and that's going to get rewrapped as well just to keep it fresh and uh we mounted the light on the ceiling this time coming through this way and then it's also going to have the the led lights as well the sterilizers over here mixers right there we got the water hook up over here that way you can have one go into the sterilizer and then this one will be going to a water meter going into the distribution bar for the mixer and then the uh, there's a door here to go and load it and there's a second door over there for unloading it into the lab and then there's a curtain up there and the we have to extend the curtain a little bit he, he didn't realize how short it was so uh, that's gonna get just more poly taped onto the bottom of it here's the flow hoods we got a, I think it's like an 8,000 uh, BTU air conditioner up there. This is a $2, or was it $2.99? No, $1.99 HEPA filter. I got it from Savers. So it's for, uh, it's for a house, I guess. Final air high efficiency particulate filter. So it's 80 CFM. So that this will be the positive pressure. It's going to be this with uh, a little tiny blower that I got, this guy. Little 120 CFM blower. And then I also have a little free filter for it as well. So that way it won't clog up the, the HEPA. So that's the progress we're making. Hopefully we can get the grow up and operational in the next couple hours and uh, have a couple beers.